Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you why bananas are blue. And I'd like to thank BlockFi for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later on. As the days start getting a little bit colder, you'll notice that the leaves start to change on the trees. The reason this happens is because chlorophyll, which is a green molecule, begins to break down in the leaves. Now this is a type of programmed cell death, and it's called senescence. So when the leaves change color, it's called leaf senescence. So one of the main reasons that chlorophyll breaks down is because of the reason why it exists in the first place. It absorbs light and can turn that light into energy. But the problem is when you have too much chlorophyll, it actually becomes a phototoxin. When chlorophyll absorbs too much light, it actually creates reactive oxygen species, and this can destroy the plant. So the plant has very tight control over the chlorophyll. So at the end of each season for deciduous trees, they undergo a type of programmed cell death where they destroy the chlorophyll in their own leaves. For quite some time, it's been a mystery what the products are of chlorophyll when it breaks down. But recently, scientists have discovered in bananas a product of the breakdown of chlorophyll that actually fluoresces blue light. A lot of times when you buy bananas in a grocery store, you buy them a little bit green and they ripen later on. That greenness in the banana comes from chlorophyll, and after a while that chlorophyll breaks down during the ripening process. So that means if you shine a UV light on yellow bananas, the bananas don't appear yellow, they appear blue. I have a black light shining on these, watch what happens when I turn off the light. Three, two, one. You can see they're completely blue now. So the reason these were glowing a blue color is because the ultraviolet light was hitting the breakdown products of chlorophyll in there and it fluoresced the ultraviolet light into the blue range that we could see. So overall, a yellow ripe banana will fluoresce a little bit blue. But that small blue fluorescence is nothing compared to a really ripe banana that starts to have brown spots on it. Now watch what happens to this banana when I turn off the lights. Three, two, one. Look at this. So look around the brown spots here. Look how bright blue it is. Around every brown spot here, there's an area that has a very strong fluorescence here. And this was actually just discovered in bananas recently. So any area that has this bright blue fluorescence is actually an area that is undergoing a strong chlorophyll breakdown and a programmed cell death. The reason this is significant is because this provides a biomarker for areas of the fruit that have programmed cell death occurring. You'll notice that all the brown spots do not have this. For example, here's a brown spot and here's a brown spot and it's kind of browning right here, but it does not fluoresce under the UV light. So you can see this brown spot is not fluorescing. So that means that's just a spot that was bruised. It's not a spot that was undergoing a programmed cell death or senescence. So if you're studying programmed cell death, only the spots that have these bright blue spots are the cells that you need to take interest in. What's really interesting is sometimes you'll notice a spot like this one on this banana. Notice how bright that glows on the end here. But you'll notice that it's not even brown here. So that means that there's a cellular process going on right now that's invisible to us normally. So this is a few days later with the banana that had the fluorescence on the end right there. There was no indication other than the fluorescence that there was cell death occurring. But now a few days later, look how brown the bottom of this banana is. So all the cells are obviously dead now, but we couldn't tell before other than that fluorescent marker. So that truly is a way to tell that there's cell death occurring before we can visually see it with regular light. I was using UVA light to fluoresce these bananas. If you use a different type of UV light that has higher energy, like UVC, then you get a different reaction. This is a UVC light bulb. Now UVC is high frequency ultraviolet light. This light is typically filtered out by the atmosphere so it never reaches the earth. The ozone layer protects us from getting hit with UVC radiation. It has extremely high energy. Because UVC causes ionization of DNA, it can kill cells. So it's been used for a long time to sterilize things. So during the past couple of years, people have used UVC lights to sterilize their groceries. But watch what happens when you use UVC light on bananas. An interesting reaction happens. Okay, so I'm going to be setting my banana right next to the UV light. It has this dull sticker here. Okay, turn on the light. Let's see what the banana looks like after 15 minutes. 
Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Let's check it out now. Looks like it got pretty brown right here. Let's see what it looks like when we remove this. So you can easily see where I removed the sticker. It's a lot lighter. So there's definitely some browning going on right away. But now let's just let the banana sit, not exposed to the UV light, and see what it looks like after a few hours. Okay, now look at this banana. It's been five hours now. This is where the sticker was. You can see how brown it got from that UV light. So this is kind of like a sunburn. Initially, it's hardly noticeable, but now that we've given it some time, look how brown it got. So the UVC light actually killed the surface cells on this banana here. But you can see it's not too deep here. If you go just a little bit under, it's no longer brown. So it only got the very surface cells of the banana. So if you ever wonder if you have a real UVC light, you can test it on your bananas instead of your eyes or your skin. Subscribed yet? And also hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out Action Lab Shorts, which is my second channel where I do videos similar to this channel, but a lot shorter in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.